Over a year ago, I created a video where I made the best possible attack hive ever. But in reality, everyone just bullied me because I made a bad attack hive. Okay, first of all, more number the 10% bond from treats and gifted puppy bee. Yeah, you know what? Shut up. I'm not going to read all that. So in order to make an actually good hive this time, I asked the person who was number one on the coconut crab leaderboard, the robo party leaderboard, and the stick bug leaderboard for the best possible hive color, because obviously he's pretty good at attacking. I will create the perfect attack hive for real this time. As you can see, I'm inside of the beast from Tats Realm, the place where miracles happen. And honestly, my hive is a little cursed right now, so I'm just gonna reset my whole account. On it, please ban me. Thanks, babe. As you can see, I'm inside of the beast from Tats Realm on the new account. So let's get my 100 million snowflakes and gingerbread bears, get all bee quips, and get all bee eggs. And also auto claim badges, which I hate doing. Because of the sound, it is so annoying. Batch sound torture has ended. So the man, the myth, the legend himself, name name, who's the number one attack player, actually sent me his hive. So I'm gonna put it up on screen, and he told me that his hive has 25 precise bees and 13 spices. But that in the test realm, I should probably use 26 precises and 12 spices. So that's what I'm gonna do. Listen to the number one player. Because I'm kinda bad at building hives, I'm gonna be honest. And there we go, I have 25 bees, which means I'm one step closer to suffering. So let's use the red cannon, and instantly convert the 2.1 trillion pollen I have in my backpack for some reason. This is the Yarg's channel, so we use super smoothies for haste. And now let's buy every single item in here, most importantly the glider, which I love using, and the 25 extra hive slots. There we go, literally getting years of progress in 2 minutes of bee swarm playtime. I've been playing for less than 3 minutes, and I got more progress than some people who have been playing for 5 years. Anyway, I think I should just get started on building the hive. So I'm gonna use the minimal amount of event piece that I need, so I'm gonna get Digital Bee. I don't need Bear Bee, surprisingly. My first time not using Bear Bee in one of my hives. Bear Bee is just like my dad. <laughs> okay, Vicious Bee, very good attack bee. And Tabby Bee. Wait, since I got Tabby Bee, I need to get buffs. So this gives me a thousand Tabby Love, Polar Power, and Science Enhancement. Very poggers, as the kids would say. I don't think I need Windy Bee, because Windy Bee is kinda garbage. Stop doing sprouts, please! Stop! Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the audio. Let's start getting some precise bees inside of my hive. No, I will unleash 1200 beehives in your house. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Anyway, I need 26 precise bees, which might take a little while to get. So enjoy the time lapse of me suffering and getting precise bees. And the suffering is over. I have acquired a grand total of 26 precise bees. The suffering will not end just yet though. I also need 12 spicy bees. So one... Two... I'm not gonna count the whole time. And that is 12 spicy bees. Beautiful. And now for some useful bees. I think I need like 3 music bees minimum. So a rage bee obviously gives me more attack. Hasty bee, because I hate being slow. Brave bee for obvious reasons. Looker. Commander. And ninja bee. So this should be one of the best attack hives I can possibly make. And obviously all those bees need to be gifted. So instead of using 50 of my 100,000 star treats on my hive and gifting my bees like a peasant, I'm just gonna step on this button, which makes my hive gifted and level 20 in one second. How convenient. I love when things are convenient. And also the Testral Mega Boost, which gives me times 10 bee attack. And all the other insane stuff listed, which I don't care about. Oh, ads, bro. Okay, you are getting deleted. Just like all the mobs that I will kill in this video. Now I need some good amulets, which might take just a tiny bit of time to get. Luckily for me though, I don't have to grind all these amulets by hand, I can just cheat and step on these buttons. Which I get because I'm a hacker. Just kidding, on it, don't ban me. This is literally the test realm game. You made it yourself! Okay, so I got a pretty good amulet which gives me plus 2 red B attack. And also 23% super crit power, which is absolutely insane. And now I need the scorching star and the star saw. To be fair, I only need the star saw, but scorch saw is really cool. It's the two best passives on the SSA for a red hive. I hope this doesn't take too long. <laughs> You guys don't understand how long I've been doing this. So this is the last Scorch Saw, is that any good? Critical Chance, 4 bar. Yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna replace it. Critical Chance is very important. Moon Amulet? I don't think it really matters. So this actually does matter. So what I'm looking for is Critical Chance, Critical Power, and B Attack. And not player move speed, please don't give me that. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Now time for Diamond Stick Bug, which is also incredibly important. I need plus 2 red B attack, please. Or just plus 2 normal B attack. Oh wait, this is like- Oh my gosh, this is actually so good. Plus 1 B attack, plus 2 red B attack, and plus 9% B attack. Let's go. Now time for the Supreme Shell Amulet. Defense, sure, why not? I don't think I can get any attack on the Shell Amulet. King Beetle Amulet. 
I just need plus one B attack, please. Thank you. I don't care that I get bamboo field, which I'm never gonna use. All right, perfect. Now that I have the best amulets possible, I need to get the best gear possible. And every single test room video I make, someone tells me in the comments like, Yarix, you forgot the pedal belt, or you forgot the crimson cobalt cards. Yeah, you know what? In this video, I'm gonna prove all the haters wrong, and I'm not gonna forget anything. And if I do forget something and you tell me in the comments, I'm gonna ban you. I'm gonna buy the fire mask because it gives the demon mask an extra passive. Any extra damage I can get, I'll take. Time to buy the best sprinkler? Because why not? The tokens have to regenerate somewhere. Let's buy the cobalt guard and the crimson guard. I look so dripped out right now. Oh my gosh. As DJ Khaled said, life, life is Roblox. I agree with that. Alright, time to go inside of the gummy layer. Gumdrops. Glue, which I don't need. I already have almost 100,000 glue. Jealous? Huh. Okay, gummy boots. Nice. Wait, I need cocoa boots first because they give me an extra passive. Okay, I'll get gummy boots later again. Wasting my precious time on B game. Just kidding. I love this game. Not really. Okay. What else do you have to get? Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, demon mask. Pretty important. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, by the way, of me suffering and killing every single mob with the best attack high possible, given to me by the best attack player possible, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. But anyway, I just got the demon mask, and I didn't die on the parkour, which is a good sign. But yeah, let's also open the Monda gift box, which gives me the honey day buff. It doesn't really give me anything that will help me, but it's just nice to have. I like having the Tesla Mega Boost in the honey day event. It gives me more comments. If you're watching this, comment how your day is. I need the comments. The more comments, the better, okay? Oh yeah, speaking of comments, I forgot the Dark Scythe. The Dark Scythe is in no way related to comments, but yeah, Dark Scythe, very good for Red Hives. And this man is claiming every single badge. How to tell if someone's never played the V-Storm Test Realm? Even though I don't have the Coconut Boots, nor the Coconut Backpack, I think I should test out my Attack Hive on the Coconut Crab. Because obviously I have to kill it to get the Coconut Backpack, and someone is claiming every single badge, which is incredibly annoying. And I will send beehives to your house. Anyway, let's use a Nectar Tester too. I need every single Nectar. And the Nectar Tester gives me every single one. Very convenient. I don't have to grind Nectars for 58 hours a day. Alright, I just gotta get Precision times 10, and we should be chilling. Two more, one more, and... And there we go, times 10 Precision. I also got the Scorching Star. Let's pop the Super Smoothie, Marshmallow Bee. Where are my singers? Coconuts, L let's jump in! Okay, bees, come on, attack. Precise bees. I have 26 of you. Please do damage. Oh my goodness, that is so much damage. It's literally dead in one second. Oh my gosh. So I killed it in a grand total of six seconds. The lowest is five seconds, so I do think it's possible for me to get on the leaderboard with such a good hive. But yeah, let's buy the coconut clogs and the coconut canister. It's a good day when you acquire both of those. All right, now that I got the coconut boots, I can buy the gummy boots. And now I have literally the best gear and the best attack hive possible. So towards the end of this video, I will speed run killing the Sump Snail to see how fast I can do it. I think my record is like three minutes or four minutes, something like that. But for now, no bees. Can I one-shot this? Oh yeah, I literally one-shotted the King Beetle with my Star Saw. I think it would be really cool to one-shot the Tunnel Bear as well. So let me just get some insane buffs so I can make that happen. All right, I've got time 10 precision. So now let's just jump inside of the Tunnel Bear layer and hopefully my bees don't do any damage. All right, let's go, Tunnel Bear. Where are you? When you spawn, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, wait, bro. I literally killed him after I died. He jumped on my head, which is kind of unfair. Tunnel Bear is literally spawn camping me. What is this, Fortnite? But I still killed him somehow with my Star Saw. I love B-game physics sometimes. And I definitely need all the loot. Oh, gifted silver egg. I think that's guaranteed, so not too rare. Wait, I just remembered something I need. B-quips. So to kill something like that some signal as fast as possible, you need a bunch of really good B-quips. So let's just get the B-quip case. But all of these B-quips are just going in the trash because I only have 10 slots. So let's just upgrade this a few times. So you can actually upgrade the amount of slots you have for the B-quip case with tickets. And... I kind of have a few tickets myself. This is actually getting really expensive. 8,250 tickets. Wow. The most expensive thing ever in Beast Swarm. 13,400? I'm still buying this somehow. 15,000? Okay, yeah, I'm poor. I literally only have 16,000 tickets. I'm so poor. Oh no. Okay, anyway, I have 90 slots. And I did mess up a little on my hive. So instead of an extra music bee, I can actually just use a shocked bee. And that's because the kazoo goes on the shocked bee. Perfect. Toy drum goes on the Brave Bee. Whistle goes on the Commander Bee. But yeah, I can also add a second Toy Horn to my Rage Bee. Beautiful. Now for something I've been dreading, I have to get attack on every single bee. I think I did this in one of my videos and it literally took like an hour. I mean, I do have 100,000 Atomic Treats for a reason, to get mutations. It has.
has been 10 years, and I have got attack on every single bee in my hive, I think. If I missed a bee, okay, yeah, I missed a bee, okay, good thing I noticed, because if I didn't replace it and give it attack, everyone would be, everyone in the comments would be like, oh my gosh, Eric sucks, bad video, bad attack hive, one bee doesn't have attack mutation. Ah, it's done, let's go. Alright boys, coconut crab has respawned, and now it's time to get on the coconut crab leaderboard. So really quickly, let me just get my timestamp precision, again. And if you don't know, the best way to kill the coconut crab is just to jump up here and hope you don't get teleported by on it, and yeah, bruh. What was I just saying? You gotta hope you don't get TP'd. On it, scamming me as always. Alright, second time's the charm. And my focus ran out, okay. Alright, third time's the charm. I can't waste time here. My per my focus is about to run out, so bees. Ready? Alright, three, two, one. Thanks, see ya. Let's go! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. How fast is this gonna be? Bro, attack! Five seconds! That could have easily been four. But I guess I'm almost on the leaderboard, if I'm lucky. Dude, my bees are actually so slow. Or the servers, dude. I'm in, like, some stupid European servers, dude. Where even is Europe? Freaking in the middle of Africa or something? Oh, freaking bees, dude. Ruined my world record coconut crab kill. Alright, so in order to actually get the best time possible on the sum snail, I have to use a festive bean. I mean, I have 100,005 of them. Well, 100,004 now. But anyway, the bees miss here gives me times to bee move speed, which, if you do the math, now bees move two times faster, and they do a lot more attack. So anyway, I think I'm ready. Let me just get my green jelly beans again. Right, no green jelly bean, but anyway, let's jump in this field and start the timer. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so much damage. Dude, I already did almost 2 million damage. How much attack do I have? Attack total, 46,000. That is insane. Maybe I can freeze the sum snail in one place? Alright, I gotta work on getting precise marks. That is very important. Oh my gosh, this might be a bunch of them. Yes, look at this! I have so much super great chance now, it's insane. Wait, I I'm forgetting two singers. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Look how much damage I'm doing. This is actually insane. Oh my goodness. Some snail is under 20 million health. It is official. And I got the score saw. Let's get some super crit chance. Bro, this is actually going to be so much attack. Oh my gosh. Almost 15 million already. I right, hear some more precise marks. Beautiful. Let's just refresh the precision real quick and go back inside of my two precise marks. Yo, bees, attack! Dude, I'm literally breaking the game right now. This is insane. Oh, Scorching Star. Let's get the dark heat. And it is at 6.1 million. Oh, I froze it. Bro, it's literally taking like a million damage per second. This is going to be my best kill ever. Literally breaking beast form on accident. Should someone be allowed to kill with some snail in under two minutes? I'm not sure. Is it really fun to do so? Uh, yeah, very fun. Imagine that wasn't recording. If it wasn't filled, no one would believe it. Just like me killing the some snail in under two minutes. And I got a dime egg and 75 tickets and five star jellies. Welcome to the collection, Diamond Egg. I will never use you. Dude, that was actually so much fun. I low key think I beat my previous thumbsnail record by over half. Okay, I'm a little wrong. My previous record, it was 2 minutes and 5 seconds. Which I still beat. Haha, -ha. stupid Yorix. Sucks that beast swarm. Or maybe I just got better. Oh, get this thing off my screen. So yeah, I finally made the best attack hive, and no one has the right to bully me. Because if you bully me, you're bullying the best beast swarm attack player in all beast swarm. Did I mention he's good at beast swarm? Yeah, this is a hive I'm using for all you nerds who want to copy it, maybe inside the main game. And for those of you who have honey to get a bunch of level 21 bees, Tabby Vicious, Digital obviously, 12 Spicy, 26 Precise. And if you're an even bigger nerd and care about bee quips, wait, what? Bro, my bee quips got unequipped. Are you kidding me? I probably could have gotten an even better time, but for some reason, Ana decided to scammer me again. And he literally deleted all my bee quips from my hive. Like, why? I lost sanity making this video, so drop a like and subscribe. Goodbye.